and welcome back to another My Week in Media. This time, like usual, we're going to start off with the music. I didn't get anything new in, but I have been continuing on my journey of listening through that uh, Godzilla set of the Show Era films. And so, two that I've listened through on here is Ghidorah, the Three-Headed Monster, and... Again, a lot of fun on this one. Sounded really good. Another Ifukube composed one. And then Invasion of Astro Monster. Also another really good one. Uh, also done by Ifukube. So I've gotten to go through those two. Really enjoyed it. Sounded great. And then um, overall I haven't really got through a whole lot of media or purchased a whole lot this week. I've been really busy with just life in general. Um, so I haven't got through a whole lot. Next we're going to movies. Only one that I purchased, I guess it's several. It's the Arrow Daimajin uh, trilogy set. And I had never seen these before. I was aware of them and I'd looked trying to buy them for a long time and I could never find them for a reasonable price. And then Arrow released this set. And so I jumped all over that pre-ordered it. It finally came in. I got to watch through all three of them and I love those movies. I think I gave them a 3.5 stars each. Um, the stuff with the Majin in it looked really good. Uh, the the ambiance, the, the feel of when he arrives and starts doing his destruction is really good and um, definitely the highlights of the film. And they're kind of formulaic, all three of the movies. They follow the same formula. They all three came out the same year. Um, I think the more I watch them, probably the more I'm going to end up liking them. Uh, but upon fir first watch, I was happy that I made that purchase. And Arrow's coming out with another set, series of movies that I've been looking forward to and looked for for quite a while, uh, the Yokai movies. And there's four of them. And so I'm going to be pre-ordering that and hopefully that'll be coming in in September. And I'm really looking forward to watching to those. Other movies that I watched, well, there's only one other movie that I watched, and it was The Wolfman. And uh, I've seen it before from 1941 with Lon Chaney Jr. Uh, it's a fun movie. One of the Universal Monsters uh, movies. It's a classic. Lon Chaney Jr.'s favorite character that, that he played. Uh, and he's played all the Universal Monsters. He's played Dracula. He's played the Frankenstein monster. He's played the mummy. He's done it all, and that was his favorite. And of course, that's the only one that was original to, to him. Um, so next thing, books. Uh, I've gotten back into reading The Fourth Closet. I've continued. I've read a few more chapters in there, and I, hopefully I'm going to wrap that up this next week because I've been on that forever. Um, so, uh, But I finally got back into that. And then I purchased online the Volume 3 of... The Haunted Mansion series, and this one is called Grim Grinning Ghosts, like this famous song. And then the other Haunted Mansion, um, Volume 4, and Memento Mori, which is the name of the little gift shop that's outside of the Haunted Mansion. Um, so, uh, love that set. I hope the stories are good because it's a beautiful looking book set. So, looking forward to getting into those. TV shows, I seem to always forget about TV shows. Um, I've watched the um, uh, Golden Girls. I've been watching the Golden Girls pretty regularly at, in the evenings with my wife. Uh, we are one episode away from finishing season one. I think in the past I've watched through season three, but I'm trying to go back through all of them because I've never seen, I guess, seasons four, five, and six. So trying to go through all of those. Really enjoy those shows, uh, classic from the 80s. And then... Another TV show I've been watching, uh, pick back up, still plugging away at, is um, Ultra 7. So, got a few episodes of those in, and I'm nearing the end of that series too, so I can go on to Return of Ultraman, which I'm looking forward to. Now, in the world of toys, action figures, um, didn't buy any action figures, but I was lucky enough to stumble across um, the entire set of... Uh, volume 4, The Mystery Wands, The Death Eater set. And I was super excited when I came across those because everywhere I looked, those things had been out. And so I was in some like really rinky-dink town in Oklahoma. 
and apparently there's no Harry Potter fans because there were three full sets of those of various series. And so I saw that one, grabbed it, and I had suspicions that if you got the full box, it was all of them, and I did, and it was all of the wands. So my wand addiction is, is getting pretty crazy, but um, that was it for the last two weeks. That was basically my week in media, and I'll see you next time.